Now then, how's it going, guys and girls? So, it's Kenny DJI again. So, stopped raining again. So, we're taking advantage of the weather. Not been able to put a proper one in for a while. But, um, so we'll focus on the technical aspects of it again. So, we'll have a quick look. Again, we're going to be using the Mini 2. So, we're going to be looking at um, ND filters, etc. So, Check uh, obviously the drone, the power level, everything. If it's charged up, you can see there four bars. So let's get the uh, protector off. So you can see I'm running a it's a free will. So it's an ND8 filter. So it's quite a low stop. So we've got pack there. So we've got um, an ND4, an ND16, and a CPL, a circular polarising lens, which is good for anti-glare reflections when you're using water, when you're over water, things like that. So let's get the drone unpacked ready. And then we'll go and have a look, uh, see what it's like lighting wise. Right, so we've switched over to uh, drone view. So we just have, we've got the ND8 filter on, as we said, it's running. If you look at the bottom right hand corner, mm, manual metering, we're at um, minus 0 0.7. It's a tad, tad underexposed, which is a bit preferable because we can edit that out later. Whereas if it's overexposed, uh, it's probably going to be a bag of shit. So we'll get it up in here. See what they're like. It is a bit of an overcast day today, so you know it's not amazing. Off. The home point has been so updated. We'll take it off. Please check it on the map. So we've got plenty of open field here. Good line of sight to it. So it is quite underexposed now. Look, if I look up there. About 0.3, it's not bad. But if we're looking down, minus 2.7. So obviously we'll edit all that up later on. So we can bring up the saturation, everything like that. So we've got some power lines and things over there, so we'll be wary of that. Keep a bit of a height. Take it up to about 160 feet. Right, so push forward. Be mindful of the power lines. Just sort of a good line of sight to it. So it's, I suppose it's just a bit of a practice session for me because obviously yeah, you're struggling to get out so I was watching the power lines there I've, also, I've checked the area for hazards obviously anyway so I'm just trying to look for a subject just to practice um, some manoeuvring etc so I'll take it over that way So we could practice a bit of an orbit. So we'll get it in cinematic mode, bring that speed down so we can keep it smooth. So our subject obviously there, look, is a bit of a rocky area. So try and keep that central, keep that even.
so that's nice and cinematic so we could just do a, like a slide left across the road so let's bring it across Again, so they're, not, they're nothing fancy on these moves. So that's what uh, sometimes less is more, isn't it? So we can do like a push forward and down. Being aware there's power lines there. So a bit limited, really. We don't want to hit them. So if the drone propeller makes any contact with anything, it'll turn the motors off and, and then it's game over. So I'll try a bit of high speed. That it's going to keep up with the lights of these. So there's a national speed limit road. Yeah, the wind is picking up a little bit, flying into it, so we can only manage 27 mph. See what we get coming down, see a lot faster coming down. Thirty-five mile an hour. Thirty-six. But it's not bad for a drone this time. It's obviously a cinematic drone. So it's not meant for tracking things. It's for sort of an FPV drone. Where we're doing that sort of thing. But it's good. It's good practice for me just to get my. Uh, flight hours in because you, you sort of want it to become muscle memory don't you using the sticks etc so it's good good practice and that's all we're doing today which is just a bit of a, a practice room yeah. keep my maneuverability that sort of thing Gonna out maneuver us a little bit and now uh, like I say not bad for a drone like this. It's entry level drone. It's uh, still pretty good. But uh, yeah, good practice. But um, that's all this one is this time, but I'll stick it on, see what you guys reckon. Uh, we'll finally get a bit of decent weather and um, I'll get to a proper location and we'll uh, do it a bit more professionally but um, yeah hope this killed uh, a few minutes for you and uh, cheers for watching see you on the next clip